Wow, here we are. My name is Hannah Spear, and I play Valerie LaPalm. So enthusiastic. <laughs> wow, here we it's are. It's frustrating because people always say that to me. They say, wow, sounds so enthusiastic. But, like, if you could see my face, I'm like, wow, here we are. Like, I have a big smile on my face. My, my name is Adam Christie. I play Guy Sadecki. <laughs> We're going to watch the first episode of Versus Valerie. Big smile on my face. <laughs> oh, wow. So exciting. So oh, here's what the hell is happening? <laughs> It was really fun to, when I uh, showed this to all my family and to be like, this is what I've been working on. <laughs> this is the first scene they got to see. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Hannah, why? Be like, I knew it was called Sexy Nerd Girl, but I had no idea. Hannah, how did you get involved with Sexy Nerd Girl and versus Valerie, goddammit? Um, well, gosh darn it. I am an improviser, and uh, the two creators, uh, Simon Fraser and uh, Stephanie Callender, our head writer, um, saw me improvise and thought I would be good for the role and so I had a quote-unquote audition mm -hmm. and then things just kind of moved along from there. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. What and now we? you're rich. And now I am, let's just say I'm a multi-billionaire. <laughs> um, I have 30 cats. 30 cats? No, I don't have any cats. That was crazy what we just saw I'm running all over the city. If you're familiar with Toronto, you will notice that I'm basically not running anywhere. Like I'm running from the west side to the east side through the middle. Yeah, you're up north. Yeah, there's no, uh, you, you would never take the route that you would actually <laughs> took to get to Leslieville from, uh, where were you, where were you staying? I guess nobody really knows. It's all kind of a... Slam-a-lam. I got in, uh, involved in the project because I am a uh, minor internet celebrity. I am, I don't know if you've heard of me, Goatsy. <laughs> uh, that's me. That's and, uh, disgusting. They thought it would pull in a, a couple hundred views. And, I would uh, say that, that that means you're a minor. I think you are the the internet celebrity. Oh, do you know my work? <laughs> I do. You do know my work? Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm glad that, uh, people have seen uh, my, my passion. <laughs> So here we are, sitting in uh, OK OK, yep. the diner, um, and then for people who were fans of Sexy Nerd Girl and saw Guy and Val interacting together, this is kind of the first time that they get to see their relationship in real life and not just in the bedroom. In the bedroom sounds very sexual. Yeah, that sounds sexual, but it's not. not. It's not. It's what we, it we isn't. literally film in Mike Fly's uh, That guy. Bedroom. That's Mike Fly. Yeah. That's the guy we film in his bedroom. And uh, Mike sits in his closet and films us. Uh, we do little vloggy <laughs> vlogs, right? We do our vloggy vlogs. We talk vlogs. about Star Wars. We could talk about Star <laughs> Trek. We talk about anime. Gentlemen's washes. We talk about washing your dick in a sink and a lady's sink <laughs> when you met him for the first time. Um, which is a teaser, if you haven't seen the last episode, part of the last episode. It's just Adam uh, giving himself a, a bottom half shower. <laughs> well, that's why they brought me in, because they like you're my comfortable with, You're comfortable with nudity, full yeah. parental male nudity. <laughs> yeah, you call Goatsy, you're going to get what Goatsy gives. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Yeah, how long have we been doing this? This has been a solid two and a half, oh ten years. Oh my gosh, I feel like three, but maybe not. Close to three? Yeah. Yeah, and who knew that uh, this would be what we'd end up doing, this awesome show. This, uh, this is it. This is it. We peaked. I think, well, I think this is my peak, and I think I'm on a steady downturn from now on. It's surprising that your peak wasn't, um... No, I'm not gonna bring up Goatsy again. I was, but uh, we could just let it go. I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> but no, Matt, this could be, our life could take a terrible downturn spiral. Yeah. I've been using a lot of drugs lately. Stop it, because you have not. A lot of crank. No, what is crank? Meth. Yeah, right. Okay. You're right. Ketamine. For those of you who uh, want to know what Adam Christie looks like right now, He's wearing a white suit <laughs> and a white top hat. Covered in dog hair. <laughs> Covered. Covered. Head to toe in dog fur. <laughs> That's my actual old apartment. Really? That I used to live in with uh, Stephanie Callender. Head writer. Head writer. Uh, Disgusting garbage cans, as you can see. We never clean those. And uh, 
The balcony that we used is actually your na your old neighbor. His name was Mysterion. Yeah. Tell our, us a little bit about Mysterion. His name is Mysterion. He's a magician. He's from Toronto. Uh, he has a, uh, a variety of uh, collectibles, including uh, dead fetuses. Yeah, like shrunken heads. Many action mm -hmm. figures, which I never saw, but Steph went up there. They would have uh, lavish parties where different burlesque dancers would come over and... Um, really? Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. I never went to any of these parties, though. Oh. That's tough. Because I'm a wiener. <laughs> a wiener. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the first scene in the coming up as a very talented, handsome, ha very handsome comedian. Very handsome. Tom Henry. Tom Henry. Nailed it. Well, I think we only had to do one or two takes of his line. Yeah. There he is. It's too handsome. Too monotone and too handsome. Nailed it. Nailed it. Now, right. um, have you ever been recognized for being on SNG or Versus Valerie? A couple times. In the street? Yeah. One time I was singing karaoke at Hurricanes, and I can't remember what song I was singing, but during the bridge, someone was <laughs> like, hey, the, the DJ who was sit, sit, sitting right next to me went, hey, and I was like, hey. And uh, he was like, are you Guy Sadecki? And I was like, yes, I am. Rolling, <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. river. <laughs> And also when I was uh, I was covering Anime North for another thing that I do, and uh, the waiter was like, uh, hey, Guy Sadecki. I was like, oh, hey man, what's up? And he's like, I love your show. And I was like, thanks man, I'm, uh, my name's Adam. And he was like, what? Oh no. Yeah. <gasps> and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's that thing, I'm an actor. And he was like, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, and then he maced you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he's, yeah. So there's Julia Lackwitz, gorgeous young woman, yeah. so funny, hilarious, uh, stand-up comedian in Toronto. Um, she's got a bit of blue comedy. I've seen her a couple times. Her comedy is quite blue, raw and blue. Is raw. that what people say, blue? Or is that just what moms say? I love lots of swears. Yeah. Fs. Talking about. <laughs> Lots of F's. Lots of F's. Lots, lots of, of C's. Lots of talks about um, you know slob and knobs, and uh, but so funny, so so funny. I like. Oh my god. I I, I kind of admire her as look, a comedian. Look it up. Who that guy? Not you. The other guy, Bob Banks. That's Bob Banks, who's an improviser from Toronto as yeah. well. Yeah. Very he funny. Used to be a postman. He used to be a postman. He used to be. Uh, I believe. Uh, I've seen him around Harvard Street. Oh. I used to. Oh. And I could just be lying because he could listen to this and say I've never touched Harbert Street with my, with my D, but um, what? what are you talking about <laughs> with my D? This is a nice place to film. This is uh, who works here again? Oh, this is Jamie O'Connor, right? Hey, yes, Jamie this is Planet works X here. Comics, real comic book store. Yeah, not a set. No. There's no way we could afford something no. like this. No way we could afford all these collectible comics, cool comics. This is actually one of my favorite parts out of the whole. Series is when you're like, let's go watch porn together. So funny. Oh, yeah. Can't remember if you okay. ad-libbed that line or if that was in the script. I think that might have been an ad-lib. Wow, just genius. Just there wasn't genius. there wasn't a ton of ad-libbing. It was most uh, mostly from the brilliant scripts. Yeah. And our head writer Stephanie Calendar. Yeah. Dot com. Stephaniecalendar.com. Dot net. Not sure if uh, dot co dot uk dot za. Goatsy dot cx. Another ad-lib. Me, get your uh, clit out of the clouds. Get your clit out of the clouds is one of my catchphrases. <laughs> we should have t-shirts made up. Yeah, or like if you had an action figure. Get your clit out of the clouds. And then on the back, goatee.com. <laughs> oh, God, Come no. Check me out. Tim Gilbert. This is Tim Gilbert, who is my current downstairs neighbor. Tim Gilbert is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. And go YouTube Tim Gilbert right after you're done doing this and watch some of Tim Gilbert's comedy, because it's insane. He's so funny, and... So nice. Hmm, look behind you. Oh. Mm. Spoiler. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Val's behind me. This episode is uh, kind of in the style of Sherlock. Yep. So if you are a fan of Benedict Cumberbatch, which I certainly am, yep. his face confuses me. Sometimes I'm attracted, sometimes I'm repulsed. Yep. Anyways, that's a... Uh, my thing, so. So like Michael Shannon? Are you ever attracted to Michael Shannon? Michael Shannon is another, that's a great example of yeah. another person who I'm like halfway attracted to and halfway a little bit freaked out by yeah. their face. 
Um, I'm sure people would say that about me too. They'd just be like half, sometimes a dragon, sometimes very scared. Sometimes goat woman. Sometimes repulsed. Uh, disgusting. <laughs> greasy. Greasy. Constantly soaking wet for no reason. <laughs> she'd be a like, wet hey, face. Hey, did you just go swimming? And she'd be like, no. no. Um, oh, pizza. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ate a lot of pieces of pizza. A lot of gross, not that Pizza Pizza is a gross pizza company, but. All of the pizza that we had was like fossils. Yeah, and I just feel like it's it's not a matter of pizza pizza being gross because it's not gross. It's just like when you eat something for an hour over and over again, like uh, you could eat brownies, you could eat candies, but you just get so <laughs> done after a while with it. Yeah, you're right. You can really just like chow down on brownies till you throw up. Yeah. I got up 10 brownies. And actually someone in the con, the, one of the only like continuity things that someone has pointed out is that the pizza looks extremely old, <laughs> which it kind of does. Another continuity thing that you can pick up is that my hair is different lengths all the time. <laughs> just subtly so. He just cannot get his hair cut. He just loves it. Shelly Kidwell, here she is. Shelly Kidwell. I'm not sure if that's her <clears throat> real coat, but it is fabulous. Yeah, something died to make that coat. Fabulous fur. That's for damn sure. Hey guys, hopefully uh, hopefully you love these commentaries and hopefully you'll watch episode two. Shelly Kidwell is our guest on episode two. Uh, my name is Adam Christie, a.k.a. Goatsy, a.k.a. Captain Murder, <laughs> a.k.a. AC Risky, a.k.a. AC360, a.k.a. Professor Cookies. Um, um, my you, name... Oh, so sorry. <laughs> sorry I, I thought not, you were done. Sorry, go done ahead. done my plugs. Thank you very much. You Thank can check you. me out on Twitter, the Adam Christie. I have a Facebook fan page, Adam Christie Comedian. And uh, check out my zines. <laughs> Check out, uh, check out all of my zines on uh, vegan cooking and uh, neo-feminism. Okay, go ahead. Great. My name is Hannah Spear, a.k.a. Hannah Spear, a.k.a. Miss Spear, a.k.a. Mrs. Spear, a.k.a. H. Spear, a.k.a. Um, Hannah. So Dangerously disgusting. Wet face. Wet. Uh, my Twitter is Hannah J. Spear, at Hannah J. Spear, um, at... Add me. Add me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, bye guys. We'll see you for episode two. Bye everybody. YOLO, 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 YOLO. YOLO.